I have a question. Where do you guys sell microphones? Is it upstairs or uh, uh, exter external microphone? Microphone, yes, yeah. it's like upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah, okay. electronics. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Hi, I have a question. Yeah. Where do you sell microphones? Mm, we don't have any microphones. Oh, you don't? <laughs> Not even the external, uh, like, lavalier nope. type? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, fries are best by me. Not even the target off Stevens Creek? I don't believe so. Okay, alright, thank you so much. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Is your dark chocolate mocha very sweet? Uh, not as sweet as the regular mocha. Yeah. Uh, we use like a different powder for it. Wait, so what's the regular mocha? Uh, it's like what you'd find at a normal Starbucks. Yeah. So the dark chocolate part is um, a reserve drink. We're a reserve store, so we have like a couple different like specialties and stuff, which is why okay. you might see like stuff you haven't seen before at other Starbucks. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have like a bunch of special coffees, um, some ice cream drinks, uh, the hazelnut Bianco latte is probably our most popular item from the reserve. It's like a hazelnut and condensed milk sort of drink. Oh, yeah. So I have the dark chocolate as well. Okay. Uh, I'll actually try the hazelnut. Okay, definitely. Okay. Yeah, thank you. What size were you thinking for that? Grande, please. Grande? Yeah. And that's a uh, one today? Oh, one. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I could just have your name for it. Hannibal. H-A-N-N-I-B-A-L. Right, excellent. Five fifty for you today. And we'll have it out at the far bar for you. Thank you. Definitely enjoy. Have a good one. Excuse me? Excuse me? I have a question. Uh, where, do you sell any microphones here by any chance? Microphones? There would yeah. be an electronics if we had any. So if you round this corner, you'll see the electronics right in the middle. Okay, so thank you. Left. Excuse Hi. me? Hey, uh, do you sell any microphones here by chance? Like, uh, for a camcorder? Yeah. Um, does it have a jack? Yeah, uh, it's a standard, um, it's one of... Okay, yeah, ones. so we unfortunately don't have really any camera mics like that. Yeah. Um, I would say your best, best part would be or Best Buy. Have you guys ever sold those kind of microphones before, or no. never have? Well, the only th the closest thing we sell is like a karaoke mic, and that's it. Karaoke. Okay, because I remember getting one a few years back, and it was like you said, it was like a shotgun kind of like a karaoke mic. Um, we don't have any shotgun type microphones here. We just don't sell those. Okay. Um, yeah, the closest thing we have is a karaoke mic, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna you know stick that on in my car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay, I just realized because I'm actually editing a video right now, there's no footage shown because I forgot Premiere Pro what's on the video clips uh, or Premiere Pro copies or makes a copy of the video clips onto wherever the segments are stored on the hard drive because I have it um, I have the source as a hard drive so uh, you, you can't see any video clips but you can definitely tell that I only have two minutes and 55 seconds of social interaction from yesterday's video and now I'm gonna pause because I'm gonna switch uh, switch locations to film this little clip all right I was going to use my camera my mirrorless DSLR to film this but it's just gonna be a pain and this was just much easier to set up um, the only difference was using this microphone instead of the built-in one on the camera but what I wanted to say was to me it and this is completely genuine people who suffer from social anxiety even what you just watched even though it's just almost three minutes of social interaction to some people, I know if they have social anxiety worse than I do, three minutes of this could feel like complete hell for them. Whereas if I'm at a car event or a car show, right? Three minutes of interaction with someone else who also has the same interest as you, three minutes will go by like nothing. Whereas Right now, you know, I, I feel like I had a lot of footage, but when I looked down at how long my video actually was in total before this one goes in, completely just 
mind blows me or mind blows me completely just blows my mind because it really kind of puts me into perspective and helps me kind of realize like oh crap what about people who have social anxiety worse than I do now keep in mind I am still working on this and this is why I'm making this video because instead of making a whole you know 30 minute long video I would rather shorten these video clips that you just watched and put them in the daily vlog and then make a whole nother video including the entire interaction um, and to me that that just helped me discover or that that just helped me realize how much more I still have to go how much more I guess fun and curiosity I will have before achieving that 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 goal or the milestone of being able to talk to people without feeling frantic without having an awkward silence when we think there's nothing else to talk about and to me it's just incredible how that I've now come to realize like in reality realistically how bad I feel when I'm put into this kind of situation so I feel for you guys the ones who have social anxiety worse than I do I, I completely feel for you guys because this this to me was a complete shocker but I still do believe that it is possible and this is why I'm doing it this is the document for myself and that's why I showed my computer screen as well that I only had three minutes of social interaction from three different stores well two uh, two stores and one coffee shop so I had in general I had three minutes of interaction from three different stores yet I can talk to someone for half an hour 45 minutes a few hours on end when it comes to something I'm passionate about so I do believe that this can happen and I'm gonna keep on continuing what I'm doing but this is more proof and more evidence from what I've been saying so far as in you know improve on your weakness or improve on your flaw of social of having social anxiety by your passion because if you can do what I do right and talk to someone for hours on end you know with your passion or about your passion you can use that you can use that passion to break through your comfort zone to get used to talking to people and also literally use that skill set and then translate it to you know in the public in real life you know in your daily life right as you live life day to day um, be able to talk to different people uh, you know ask them about their life uh, come up with different questions and just try to make a conversation and this is what I'm currently doing this is why I'm bringing this camera out every single day and try to record whatever I can because this is my own documentation of this journey and truthfully realistically and genuinely I hope that this will help you too so with that being said I'm gonna end the video here and uh, yeah, just please continue watching my progress and this is also for for my own uh, I guess my own good just to Watch my own progress um, That way at least I, I, I'll Believe it when I see it and this is literally Believing it as I'm seeing it. So yeah, anyways <laughs> Have a nice day guys have an awesome week and I'll see you guys later